Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Milvor Idol, shall we? Well, I've been away from the game for over a day, and of course I should have realized this because it's an idle game, but I've been cutting wood ever since I left, and as a result, I'm very good at chopping wood, and I have a bunch of logs and bird nests, so how hilarious is that? Alright, so a couple of things. My buddy Nick Man was mentioning to me it's actually Golbins, not Goblins. I believe there was some kind of either intentionally humorous or copyright infringement that caused the names of that to be changed. Whatever the case may be, uh, just good to know that. Now, uh, my bank is full. And I have these, uh, let's see what I got, I have mastery tokens, grants mastery pool experience equal to 0.1% of the maximum mastery pool for the respective skill, okay? Um, so I guess I should probably claim these, and we did that. And then let's go back and look over here at what has happened. So uh, mastery pool down below, you can see there's some kind of mastery pool that we've claimed which seems good. Now, we're just cutting normal trees, which, you know, isn't that great. We need to start cutting better trees uh, at some point. But anyway, you see I have um, 28,000 logs. Now, that's a lot, right? But the nice thing is uh, <laughs> we can sell them to at least make some money. Now, I know I, I want to buy some more space in my inventory because I don't have enough. So at the shop, I think I saw, yep, five more bank slots for 480 coins. And I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna run out of bank space right away. You can see that the price of that scales up. I can also um, buy an iron ax for myself and some other equipment, which sounds really good. Now, Nick Man was saying he was curious to see what my process would be now that the training wheels have basically been taken off from the tutorial island. And I think that's cool. I think it's fun to just look at this and see, okay, you know, uh, what do I want to do? How do I want to organize myself, right? Uh, and best approach this. So there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, general upgrades are right here, but I was showing everything. Uh, what are gloves? Gloves are... Oh, quite expensive. Um, okay, so we won't worry about that. Let's just go back to show all and think about things that we can buy. So we should buy a iron axe for sure and a better pickaxe, yes. Uh, I'll buy a better fishing rod and you can see then they're just replaced by more expensive counterparts. If we want a furnace, then we're gonna need a bunch of bronze bars so we want that definitely now what i was thinking about in terms of like diving into the game and making progress would be things like um finishing our equipment right so i only am equipped right now like i'm only doing magical damage in this way um, but i don't have any armor so perhaps i should make some equipment for myself so, like, if I wanted to make bronze gear, you know, um, and make more stuff, I'd need level four here. So, I could make some bronze throwing knives, I guess, just to level up, but I don't have any bars in general. And this is going to require a bunch of copper ore, which I don't have. So, to do that, we need to go mining. So, let's mine some copper ore. But, actually, first, let me go to the bank, and do I have the new items equipped? Let me see if it reflects that. Let me go back to mining, and um, I have my iron pickaxe, right. So here we go. Now I am mining. Spend mastery pool experience. Oh, interesting. Now what, is, what does this mean if I do this? Um, mastery pool experience can be used to level up the item. Um, maybe it's good for, I don't have any for this. I got it for woodcutting and I'll look into exactly what that does next time. Let's see, there's, if I go into this, there's like a wiki 
that maybe describes what I should be doing. Um, but for the time being, it appears that uh, I have a bunch of copper. Our skill has raised up to level 5 overall. Let me just check my bank while I'm doing that. Yeah, okay, so now I have some copper and tin. Now, if I go back to the shop, do they sell just like general... No, they don't sell like stuff ore and things like that but I could summon my my familiar maybe if I wanted to anyway I'm gonna go over to smithing and we're gonna make as many bronze bars as we can so I'm just gonna go create and we'll be leveling this up which is cool Uh-huh, and so we're just kind of boosting up our mining and getting bars. We have 11 now, so eventually we'll be able to go to smithing and start making better equipment, which I then, will, you know, better equipment will allow us to dive into the combat. Okay, so I made all I can. Let me check farming really fast. Um, how do we do with the seeds that we got. Um, let me look at... So we grew some potatoes, didn't we? Compost. I have five compost. Did I actually plant seeds? Oh, I have no seeds there. Maybe I need to buy some more. Harvest all. 2,000. Apply compost to all plots. Oh yeah, this is my potato seed thing. Um... I can grow herbs or trees, okay. Hmm. I can get another allotment for 500 gold. I guess we'll do that. And what seeds do I have? I don't have any seeds of any kind anyway. I I recall... Let me look at my bank. I have weird gloop, which... Um, No, that's something you buy at the shop. I have bird nests open to receive seeds. Here's our seeds. Look, um, open them. Open all of them, actually. And we opened 15 nests. Okay. Um, maybe it just takes time or something. You open zero. Uh, oh, I can't open anymore because my bank is full. Okay, great. Let's go to the bank. Let's go to the shop, actually. Let's buy another slot for our bank. Yes. That seems to be one of the most important things that we need right now, our bank slots. And then let me go ahead and open as many uh, bird nests as I can. And I opened 85, and this time I got a bunch of seeds that stack. Okay, so fantastic. So let's go back to our farm, and we can plant, for example, some, some seeds. Oh, but it's not telling me I have any seeds. Did I not get any? What's in my bank? I got onion. Oh yeah, I have onion seed right here. So why is it not showing up in farming? Onion seed. Oh, I need level 5 farming. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to the shop then. Let's go to materials and items. And do you sell potato seeds just right off the bat? No. No, you don't. Hmm. So, interestingly, I have a bunch of seeds, but I don't have... Can I plant cherries? You need level 40, okay. Oh no, it, it, it now it's reflected, the fact that I have seeds. Maybe it just took some time or something. I don't know what what that was all about. Okay, so now I can plant them. And potato seeds. Plant. And then... I'm gonna put compost on this. I have a bunch, so I might as well. And then we're gonna plant potato seeds. Plant. Great. Okay, and it would be 5,000 to unlock that. Now, 
I'm gonna do some fun stuff. This might be the fo most foolish thing you've ever seen, but I'm gonna sell. Uh, 20,000 of these. And then I'm going to go back to the shop and I'm going to buy more bank slots, indeed. And I'm going to go back to my farm and I'm going to unlock another plot. And I don't have any compost, which is fine. And I will plant uh, potato seeds and then get that going. I don't have enough for that right now. I should have been, but while this is happening, I should be doing stuff, and I'm not. Okay, let me go back to smithing. And we're going to get bronze gear, and let's make some throwing knives. We just need to get our level up to four. Okay, good. And I'm going to stop it. And now we can make a bronze sword, which is presumably better than uh, our dagger for combat. Okay. Okay, so we made some. And now I can go to my combat and I can be like, hey, uh, let me equip, let me go back to my bank, I guess. Let me equip a bronze sword, equip weapon. Good, let me go to my combat. And so now I have a bronze sword and nothing else really. I got some food. So I think at this point I need to go back to mining and we'll just get a bunch more copper. Interestingly, uh, how do I train hit points? You Maybe you just fight. Oh, that's right. You just fight stuff. Okay, well I can look at this while I'm mining, which is cool. Okay, so actually, um, in my bank, I'm going to look at my bank while I'm mining. Just take a gander around. I got a bunch of seeds, carrot seeds, cabbage seeds. Uh, nothing that seems like exorbitantly expensive, but I can uh, open the rest of my bird nests and then be pretty happy that those are gone. I have a. I'm going to sell this short bow. Don't really need that. And um, I'm going to sell these staggers. Okay. Fantastic. So what I like about this is, first of all, you can organize your bank, which, as if you've seen me play RuneScape, you know that I'm terrible at doing that. Uh, but uh, it's cool that you can. And then this value is actually reflecting not how much money you have but how much everything in your bank is worth and that's fun all right so i'm going to go back to mining and i need to get some tin i don't know how much of it i have none so i can go to my bank and i can be like hey i have coal and i have copper but i have very little tin so let's just work on mining the tin Okay. Ooh, I got some kind of, what is this, a topaz? Nice. And I got a ruby, actually. I mean, these just look like things to sell. Now, if I was going to go to the shop and just poke around, bank slots, always good, and are affordable. I can get a steel pickaxe. Better axe, better fishing rod, some of these other pieces of equipment, a basic pot. 
but they require a ton of bars for those. We're going to go back to smithing. We're going to get the bars and we're going to make as many bronze bars as we can. Now, the nice thing is, I don't, before I was leveling up smithing by making some equipment. And I don't need to do that. I just need to make bars and that'll level up smithing. So I won't just create junk gear anymore. It's a waste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me go back into smithing, and now we have some stuff. So I can make bronze gloves. So I'm going to make one pair of bronze gloves. And I'm going to stay create. And I can make a bronze scimitar. Okay, let's make one. And we'll stop. Alright. So then let me go into my bank. It's full. And these bronze gloves, uh, if we look at it. View item stats. It just gives you some offensive and defensive stats. So we're going to equip these. And then let me look at this. We'll replace that. So this looks like it's going to compare it. And it does like slashing and gives a strength bonus as opposed to the stab of the other weapon. So, you know. Don't need to do that, but could do that. All right. Um, okay, let's go back into smithing and just get, or I'm sorry, mining. And let's get some more tin. I could go combat and just be like, hey, basic combat area. Uh, we can go to the, you know, Golden Village and just be like, what do you got, dudes? Uh, what could you drop? They can drop shrimp. Oh, they can drop some, like, bronze equipment. So that seems fun. Let me fight this guy. So I have my gloves and my bronze sword on. Now this guy, um, you know, doesn't like, uh, I could do magic against him instead of using my sword. But I attack pretty quickly with my sword. I've raised my attack level. That's good. I'm going to eat and just give myself hit points. Okay, looks like we've got a shrimp, water runes, and some bones, and some seeds. So that's cool. I'm going to eat. Now, one problem is that I can't loot everything because my bank is full. So that's an issue. So I think I'm going to have to buy some more bank slots with my money. Sell some more logs. I really want to get, like, some equipment. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Time to eat. Hey, we got a bronze battle axe, which is cool. Can I equip this? No, I can't, not from this screen. All right, I'm going to go to my bank while I'm fighting. I'm going to pay attention in the lower right to our combat. Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, if I wanted to buy more slots, I need 11,000. So we're going to go to the bank and we're just going to simply sell, um, you know, a bunch of these. And we're going to then go to the shop and we're going to buy this. Buy. And we're going to go back to combat. I need to eat. And we're doing good now. We can loot everything and put most of it in our bank. I'm going to dismiss that message. And then I'm going to go back to the bank and just be like, hey, you know, uh, there's some stuff here that we don't need, like this scimitar. I'm just going to sell it. And, you know, like these throwing knives, I'll just sell that. 
and these extra bronze swords, let's just make space. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Let me go back into combat, and we gotta eat. Okay, fantastic. And we can loot everything. Alright, now we're doing well. Eat again. And we're almost out of shrimp. Once we run out of shrimp, it'll be time to uh, do some fishing. Get some more food to eat for our combat adventures. Now, right now, I'm really just, um, when I do this, uh, we're training only attack, which is pretty decent, but maybe I want to train some defense at some point. Right now, I'm just going to um, boost up my attack to kill things quicker. You know, I don't know how wise or unwise that is. All right, I'm gonna eat, and then I'm just gonna go over to fishing, and I'm gonna start fishing and see if I escape that. Looks like I looted the stuff, and we got out of the jam. And here I go fishing. Now let me look at the bank. Um, okay, I wanna sort my bank. Very nice. An old boot. Can you equip that? Doesn't look like it. I'll just sell it. Fishing level two. And we found like a rubber ducky. So these must just be fishing treasures that you can get. Which that's cool, but they take up space. Okay. Looks like I got a glass bottle. I need some more space, I think. Seashell. All right, I'm looking for actual shrimp. I think I'm getting some. Pirate hat, this is hilarious. Yeah, I got 10. So I was gonna leave myself fishing, but I don't think I can do that reasonably because I'm gonna get too much stuff that will clog up my bank. Okay. I'm going to go into, I'm gonna check my farm really fast and yeah, these will grow in a couple of hours, that's fine. And let me just check uh, fishing. We're still fishing. Our bank is getting full. If we wanted more space, it's gonna start costing us more than what we have. And that's fine. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell some of these seeds that I only have one of and not be worried about it right now. I know I can get more of these. It's not, you know, the end of the world in any way. Uh, I'm going to sell, as those bones are for prayer, I'll keep that. And we'll, s I'm gonna keep like, I mean the fishing stuff, whatever. I'm just gonna sell everything, all these seeds. I just have too many that I can't, uh, I can't use right now and I need space. The willow tree seed is really good. All right, never mind. Um, oak tree seeds are fantastic. Uh, cherry seeds, yeah, sell those. They sell for nothing. All right. So now I think with hats, ducks, boots, and bottles, I should have enough space to catch all the fishing things. And if I leave myself playing here, I'll come back, log in, and I'll have a ton of shrimp that I can cook into food and level that up. So... Um, I think that's a good place for us to stop right now. We're just kind of get food so we can fight more. And then, you know, we'll get more bars and level up our mining and our smithing to get stronger for combat. Uh, our wood cutting is looking really good. We've got some things growing on the farm. And everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. It's just, uh, I do like idle games. It's a great way to just chill out and, uh, and collect stuff. So... 
I hope you uh, are getting a kick out of this. And if you have any questions or if you have any advice, anything like that you want to share with me that's not overly spoilery, I'd really appreciate it. Take care, everyone.